Let's look at how we can help students take notes while they're watching videos. And they might want to take those notes to, to use in a research paper or a project or to cue themselves up for Socratic seminar discussions using claims and evidence within a video. So you'll see here I have a video, a crash course from the Green Brothers. And I'm going to use um, Google Keep. I'm going to show you here that I've got a Google extension, a Chrome extension set up here in order to pull, open up Keep so I can start taking notes. Let me just take a second to quickly show you what Keep is if you haven't seen it before. So I'm going to go open a new tab and a couple ways to get to it. It's part of the Google suite of tools. I can come on over here and open Keep this way, or I can simply type keep.google.com. So I've got a series of notes here that I've taken um, over the last few years. And the way that uh, Keep works is that I just go ahead and start to click here and start to type. So if I were to want to take notes just this way, going right into Keep, Socratic Seminar, and then I could open here and start to go ahead and take notes. What I'm going to do is close that out. Let me just go ahead and delete that note because I want to show you how I'm going to do it when I'm actually using that Chrome extension and I'm watching a video. So I'm a student. I start to watch the video. Um, I find my the first note that I want to take and I'll show you. All right, so I open up that extension by clicking there, and you'll see right away what um, Keep does for me is it makes a direct, uh, and it will be a hot link to the video itself, so I don't have to even worry about um, ways to capture that. That's a nice feature. And so here I might say uh, 25 seconds in, um, considerable debate. About fall. And it automatically saves, and it's going to save right into that keep section that I was telling you about. So I get ready to start to listen further. And what you're going to see is when I start to play the video, the keep note goes away, but then I'll just have to keep that icon. So I want to add to that note, and I might even just say 15th century, just so that I remember that too. Again, I go in and I start the video again, and it does disappear, but I can always get it back. I can keep, and it keeps going back to the same place for me too. What we'd have to make sure that we remind the students of is that sometimes it's important to remember where in the video the note happens to be, so you can call it back up. Again, when prepping for a Socratic seminar and you want in the moment to use this as a piece of evidence, you can come back and look at your notes and know at 36 seconds in, we find out about barbarians. All right, let's see what happens with this note now, now that this is done. I go back into Keep, and you'll see here, that's the note that happened from starting the video and just right in that extension, so I didn't have to prep it in the, in the to start with. So I'll click on that to open up and see a, a bigger view there. Again, I can edit this at any point. So I might just want to say Socratic Seminar Prep or Research. This is a hot link. So again, I can always go back right from my notes and then I've got the, the text here. What else can I do with Keep briefly that uh, makes this really powerful and important for um, research and note taking? When I click on those uh, three dots, I can go ahead and either add a label um, or I can copy directly to my Google Docs. So there might be a reason that I want to take short notes in Google Keep, but then I want to be able to go within my, my doc infrastructure to be able to use this. If I want to add a label, it might be something that I know I'm going to be taking a whole bunch of notes on that I want to be able to separate, just being able to search by the label tag. So if I go in to, to click on the label, I can enter a new label there. So again, it might be Socratic Seminar I'm prepping for, and I know I'm just going to want to be able to find that as I go forward. Uh, I see these icons too when I go smaller as well here. I can add a collaborator, so if I'm working in a group project, then I just literally have to click on that and I can type the person's name in there. And then they share collaborative opportunities within this note, and they recognize that we can start tagging it in different ways to organize the notes that we take. Other quick features too is I can change the color. So if visually I'd like to organize my notes by um, different kind of topics within the research project that I'm doing, that can be really helpful as well. I can go ahead and add an image, and later on I can archive this too. So we we'll close that. Just want to emphasize one more time that idea by organizing by um, by topics or color coding um, can really help me in the long run when I'm prepping for something that uh, 
I need to start to then organize and search for in a pretty easy way amongst a whole bunch of different notes. And I guess I would argue that that's the thing that actually um, separates the keep from going right into Google Docs at this point. Because if you're thinking about the way that research um, note cards end up being organized, you could do something very similar with keep.